Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today, in part 2.4 of Mastering Parallel Programming series, we are going to explore aesthetic variable versus thread aesthetic attribute versus thread local class. Knowing these concepts is of utmost importance to apply them in suitable use cases. So, before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, Let's get started. PLinQ Parallel Language Integrated Query in C Sharp. If you watched my previous videos on Mastering Parallel Programming series, you might recall this diagram. Well, today we'll go ahead one more step further and learn the concept of aesthetic variables versus thread aesthetic attribute versus thread local class. Aesthetic variable versus thread aesthetic attribute versus thread local class. Today we are diving into the importance of managing data across multiple threads. Why is managing data across multiple threads so crucial? Let's imagine a scenario where multiple threads are accessing and modifying the same piece of data simultaneously. Without proper management, this can lead to data corruption, race condition and unpredictable behavior. So now here is where it gets interesting. Static variables which are commonly used in programming can behave differently in multi-threaded environments. So what is a static variable? A static variables are shared across all instances of a class. In a single threaded environment, this is not typically a problem. However, in a multi threaded environment, multiple threads can access and modify aesthetic variables concurrently, leading to unexpected results. Okay, so what's the syntax of the aesthetic variable? It's very simple. We first declare the simple variable, that's what I have written int num. Before that, we add a static key, what I have written as static. Static int num, this is nothing but the aesthetic variable I have defined. And I have initialized with the value of a 5 over here. This is how we are going to define this static variable and assigning value to it. So, understanding how aesthetic variables behave in multi threaded environments is crucial for writing robust and reliable multi threaded code. Next, what's a thread aesthetic attribute? It is a powerful tool in C -sharp that allows us to create separate instances of a static variable for each thread. Its primary purpose is to maintain thread local data, ensuring that each thread has its own copy of the variable. So, how we are going to define this thread aesthetic variable? We just need to decorate the aesthetic variable with the thread aesthetic attribute. By doing so, it allows us to create separate instances of aesthetic variable for each thread. That's what I have written. Static int num is equal to 5. This is nothing but the aesthetic variable. And here, I have decorated with the thread aesthetic attribute. That's how. We need to define this thread aesthetic attribute over here. Next, we have thread local. What is thread local? The thread local is a class in C -sharp for managing thread local data. It allows each thread to have its own instance of a variable, ensuring data isolation and preventing concurrency issue. Here, basically, what I have done, I have created an instance of the thread local of type int, and I have given the variable name of num, and I have passed lambda expression in the argument of this thread local constructor. That's how we need to instantiate of this thread local class. Now you must be wondering what are the benefits of using thread local over thread aesthetic? Well, let's discuss. Firstly, thread local provides easier management of the thread local data. Since each thread has its own instance of the variable, there is no risk at all of unintentional sharing or interference between threads. Secondly, thread local allows for flexible initialization of the thread local data. We can initialize the variable using a lambda expression or a delegate, making it easier to customize initialization law. That's all. Here I have passed argument as in lambda expression to this thread local constructor. It, okay, let's switch to the VGL studio and see the example of a static variable, thread aesthetic attribute and thread local in multi-threading context. Okay, so now we are in VGL studio. Here we are going to see examples of a static variable thread aesthetic attribute and thread local in multi-threading context one. To show the demo, what I have done, I have created a console application named aesthetic versus thread aesthetic versus thread local demo that has program.cs. In program.cs file, there is a class named program that has a static variable declared and initialized. Then there is a main method which is an entry point of this program. Here, what I am doing, first of all, I am just printing this statement static variable demo in multi-threading context using console.write line state. So this statement will print these things into console. Then what I am doing, I am just printing this statement, main thread initial value. What is the initial value of the name that I am printing into the console? Then what I have done, I have just created a new thread and modifying the name value inside. Whatever the value that we have modified, I am just printing it. What is the updated value that was modified by the new thread, right? 
That's what I'm just printing into the console. New thread, updated value, and this is the num. Then I'm starting this thread. Then I'm just writing thread dot join method. Basically, this statement will make sure that this main thread will wait for the new thread to finish. And finally, what I am doing, I am just printing the final value of the num. But I have written this statement console dot write line main thread final value num. That's what this program is doing. Let me execute this program and see the output. Okay, so output got appeared into console window. Right, a static variable demo in multi-threading context got printed. If you notice main thread initial value five, new thread updated value three, main thread final value three. So here if you notice when the new thread modifies num set the value as 3 it affects the same variable that the main thread is used right and that's why at the main thread final value is 3 instead of 5. So this thread access to the static variable num can lead to concurrency issue. Imagine if multiple threads are trying to modify num simultaneously what will happen they could overwrite each other's changes or read inconsistent values leading to unpredictable behavior in our that's why we need to understand how it is going to get impacted when we are going to use this static variable in multi-threading. Okay, so now let's see the demo of thread aesthetic attribute and see how it solved the problem that occurred while using simple aesthetic variable. So here it was the same program, only the changes I have made. I have written this statement because now I started giving the demo of the thread aesthetic attribute. I have just changed this. And here, this was the aesthetic variable declared and initialized. Here, I have decorated with the thread aesthetic. So, unlike regular aesthetic variables, which are shared among all threads, now this thread aesthetic creates a unique instance of the num for each thread that accesses it. So now the question is why is this important? Well, by having separate instances of the num for each thread, we eliminate the risk of concurrent access and avoid potential concurrency issue. Right? So each thread can modify its own instance of num without affecting the value seen by the other thread. So this helps maintain data integrity and avoids race condition or data corruption. Okay. So that's how this program is doing. So let me go and execute this program. Okay, so output got appeared into console window, right? Thread aesthetic attribute demo in multi-threading context got printed. Main thread initial value is 5, new thread updated value is 3, main thread final value is equal to 5. If you notice, both initial value and the final value got printed by main thread as 5, even though update happened on this variable via newly created thread, right? Updated value, it was 3. But this num value that main thread is accessing, it remains same. That's what initial value and final value got printed 5, 5 only. So that's how it helps maintain data integrity and avoids race condition or data corruption. Let me close this. And now let me show you one more thing. Let's see, I'm not updating this value. But the value should get printed. Ideally, you will be thinking, even though I'm not changing the value that, you know, num 5 value should get printed. Let's see what happened. Now, if you see the main thread initial value got printed 5, main thread final value got printed 5, but updated value printed as a 0 because this thread aesthetic attribute was accessed by first main thread. Only it belongs to the main thread, not going to get access the same value from the newly created thread. That's what the updated value is 0 only. That's a very important point you should be aware of. Okay, so now we explore the thread local class example and discuss its role in managing thread local data in C sharp. So it was the same program I have just modified little bit. What modification I have done? I have just changed this statement. Now because I am just giving the example of thread local class, that's what I have written thread local class de demo in multi-thread. Okay, second change what I have done, I have created an object of the thread local class of type int named num initialized with a lambda expression. That's what if you see, I have just passed an argument as a lambda expression to this thread local of type int class, right? So that's how we created an object of this thread local of type int class. And if we want to change the value of the num, how we are going to do? We need to use this num dot value. This is the third change I have done. Apart from that, everything remains same in this program, right? So here in the main method, I'm just printing this statement and then initial value, whatever the num, it, it was there, it should get printed. Then I have created a new thread over here and assigned the value of three over here for the num value. And then I'm just printing new thread, updated value. What is the num value? It should get printed. I'm starting the thread and just making the main thread to wait until this new thread finishes. Okay. Then. I'm just printing this main thread final value num to the console window. Okay, so let me go and execute this program. Okay, so output got appear into this console. See, thread local class demo in multi-threading content. Main thread initial value 5 got printed. New thread updated value 3. Because by new thread, I'm just changing the value to 
3. So that's what it got printed as a 3. But when we are trying to access again in the main thread the final value of the num, we still get the 5 value only, not the 3. That's how. Whatever the changes we have done in the thread level, it is not going to impact the other place altogether. Right? That is the save thing. That means each thread can modify its own instance of num without affecting the value seen by the other thread. That's why this value got printed like this. Okay, let me show you one more thing. Let me go and close this. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to no, comment this line. So see what value should get printed. Let me go and execute this. Program. See this output got printed. Here main thread initial value 5, new thread updated value 5 and main thread final value 5 got. We are interested for the new thread. Here also 5 as an updated value got printed even though we have not updated here. right? It will be referring the initialized value when we have declared via this lambda expression to while creating a thread local class. So that value is going to get captured in new thread. That's what it got printed by value. Do you remember when we were showing the demo of the thread static there that value was printed as a zero and we have not updated any that value inside this new. Thread. But here, here also we have not modified the value of the num but new thread updated value got printed as a 5 because it is referring to the value which is initialized while creating a thread local class. Okay, that brings me to end of my session today. To sum up, in this video we learned what static variables, thread static attribute and thread local class are and how these behave differently in multi-threaded environments. Now, I encourage each one of you to take the knowledge gained from this video and apply it in your own coding project. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.